I want to think about the x-intercept, vertical asymptotes, and horizontal asymptotes. Vertical asymptote. How do you find the vertical asymptote? Look at your notes. What's it say? Round by finding zero. Zero of the numerator, right, for x-intercept? Zeros of the numerator. So look at the numerator. Is there any way that can be zero? So no x-intercept. <laughs> You're basically going to have to memorize the top part of that notes, okay? But we'll work so many of these that you'll have it in if you just go back and think about it each time. So that means it's not going to cross the x-axis. No x-intercept. Let's think about our vertical asymptote. How do you find the vertical asymptote? The zeros of the denominator. So what number can we not put in for x? Zero. So I know that when I make my table, right next to zero, there will be nothing there. So I'm going to go over here on x equals zero, put a, a dotted line. It's not going to touch there. My graph is going to look one way on this side and another way on this side. Okay, let's think about horizontal asymptotes. How do you find the horizontal asymptote? Look at the degree of the polynomial. This one's degree 0 because it's x to the 0 power. That one's degree 2. So the numerator is smaller. So if the numerator is smaller, our asymptote is going to be at y equals 0. So you're going to have a green line that goes like this. Now we need to try some numbers to know what our graph is going to look like on each side. So you want to try some numbers bigger than zero and some numbers smaller than zero. And if I were you, I would put this into my calculator and find the table. At one, it's one. At two, two squared is four, so it'd be one fourth. So I've got one one and 2 1 fourth. I can kind of see what that side's doing. But I want to try some between 0 and 1, like 0. 0.5. What was 0. 0.5? What? 4? 4. So it's looking like that. So now you can get a pretty good idea of what that side of the graph looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. Okay, on the left side of zero, I'm going to try a number like negative 0.5. What do you get at negative 0.5? Negative 4. Positive 4. You're right. I'll try negative 1. At negative 1, you get... Negative 2, 1 fourth. So the graph looks like this. Let's get on that one and rest your hand.